Buckle up, it's the Junk Monk Podcast. Welcome to the Junk Monk Podcast. I'm your host, Candace Sloan, who you know from Instagram at Hardens and Hard Hats. And I'm Noah, your co-host, who you know from right now. If this is your first time listening, let us fill you in. We are picking up where the Drunk Monk Podcast left off, hosted by Keiko Agena and Will S. Choi. I was a big fan of their podcast and was really sad to see that they had stopped their show, so I decided to pick it up and I managed to find me a co-host. So here's the thing. Will and Keiko did their show, just a little drunk, so we're going to do our show with just a little junk. So I've got my junk food here, which is actually a soda, (laughs) this is a lot, okay, a soda, a cheese stick, two muffins, and a bowl of rice with soy sauce. A.K.A. Your dinner. Yeah, dinner. And I um, found some of these delicious blueberry muffins, so I am chowing down on Mm. chowing down on these. Yum. Mm. (laughs) Also, you must know I have seen every episode of Monk. I'm a huge fan. I started watching in about 2007 and for the most part watched it as it aired. I've seen the pilot episode and those we've done on the show and a few scattered here and there in different seasons. So if you're ready to start the show... Toby, take it away. Here's what happened. All right, so this episode is called Mr. Monk and the Secret Santa. It is season four, episode nine of the series. So here's what happened. In the open, we see an unknown person injecting a bottle of wine with some type of poison chemical. We also see them wrap up the wine bottle as a Christmas gift with a card attached. It's addressed to Captain Leland Stottlemyre. The next few scenes are the office Christmas party at the police station. We follow the poison bottle as Stottlemyre opens it, then re-gifts it as a secret Santa present to a fellow officer, Terry Chasen. Chasen drinks the bottle during the party and drops dead. The poison bottle, meant for the captain, leads everyone on a hunt for the killer, anyone with a grudge against Stottlemyre. This hunt is all for naught as we discover that the poison was indeed meant for Detective Chasen. His jilted mistress, Officer Alice Westergren, was tortured by the thought of ever living without Detective Chasen and decided to kill him to somehow fix that problem. Monk figures it out due to the cards she had used. For the bottle, she used a card that was too small for the envelope it was in and earlier had gifted Monk his secret Santa gift, with a card that was too big for the envelope it was in. When they confront Alice, she admits to it all, and the case is solved. Woo! So that was Mr. Monk and the Secret Santa. Yup. So, Noah, what did you like about this episode? Okay. I really, like, got immersed with the wine glass. Like, I was just, like, waiting, just dreading... The oh, wine yeah. glass. The, 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 wine, the wine bottle. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like the whole time like on my toes. I know. That's like, why I put in the synopsis, we follow the bottle as it goes <laughs> around and I was watching you. I could feel your like energy. I was like, I was like, like oh, scared. Oh, oh, he's about to drink it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Because yeah. he almost gives it to his wife. Mm-hmm. And, and, then he, and then Randy almost takes it and yeah. he keeps it for himself. And you're like, oh, no. Did you think that maybe Captain Sodomar's wife would... Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, happen. okay, I figured so. When I was watching it back, I just looked at it through like a different lens. Yeah, like oh, I bet he thinks that his wife is gonna die or something. Yeah. Um. So what else? Oh, uh, you can go. Sorry, I, I cut you off. Um. No. So okay, I love this mystery. Like as an overall like arc of the story, mm-hmm. I love this mystery. I like the misdirect. We've had a misdirect in another episode I think we talked about, um, or maybe it was a different podcast episode of the season one, but anyhow, uh, the misdirect was, was good, but then you only, sometimes you only see the killer for like 0.2 seconds. Yeah. But in this episode, we see Alice in the beginning, cause she's the one that gives him the yeah. wine bottle and sets it up and- I never see- would have suspected her. Uh, yeah. That is yeah. so good. I'm so glad that you said that because I'm watching it and I'm like, they just do a very good job of integrating her into all the scenes. Yeah. Like, oh, well, somebody had to take the bottle for the captain and somebody had to be at the Secret Santa. Like, she talks to Monk. She has all these scenes mm-hmm. where they integrate her into the show for the first, like, 10 yeah. to 15 minutes and then she ends up being the killer. I don't know. I, so I basically, like if she didn't switch the envelopes... No one would have got it. No. They still yeah. would have, yeah, definitely. They still would have been on the hunt for somebody that was against Captain Sotomayor. Yeah. So, 
That was my that was my first thing that I liked. Um, I liked slash loved that Stottlebyer is a good singer and good at playing guitar. Oh yeah. And Randy, <laughs> Randy when he interrupted him was so funny. That was <laughs> and he was doing the little arm thing where he, the Mariah Carey is what yeah. I call it. The Mariah Carey, the <laughs> where you shake your voice and move your hand up and down <laughs> as to the inflection of your voice. It's so good. Um, I liked. I actually like. I well. I mean, I love that part. That is like a mm-hmm. classic, like muck moment for me at least. Yeah. Uh, but I like when uh, they kind of set that up where uh, Stottlemyre walks into his office and sees Randy playing his guitar, like playing Mm -hmm. Stottlemyre's guitar. And he's like, Oh, I was just like tuning it for you or something like that. And uh, he's do you remember? I don't remember that. Okay, so then... No, now, now I remember it, but oh, I wouldn't, I okay. like, factor that. Right, yeah. Scene. Yeah, the, exactly. They're setting that part up, right? Yeah. So then Randy says something like, uh, do you want to do... Uh, oh, you remember this part. I know you do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you want to do, like, a... a you want to sing with me or something? And mm-hmm. he's like, oh, I'm more of a folksy singer. I sing by myself. And he's like, oh, it's okay. I'll sing harmony. And so oh. I'm just like, okay. And he's like, you know, I used to have a band. Do you remember mm-hmm. the band's name? No. The Randy Disher Project. Oh, yes. <laughs> I have a quote for that. That's oh. a good name. How'd you come up with that? Well, my name is Randy <laughs> yeah. Disher. And then... Project. project. <laughs> Randy is a genius on so many levels. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and then... then, then <laughs> later oh holy night yep. the stars are brightly shining yep. and then Randy oh night <laughs> which he does a little bit better than that but it's the effect is there yeah. I love that yeah definitely um you want to go next or you want me to go um get it a call sure yeah um, I think my, I think the rest of mine are quotes. I already said I already said my overarching theme of what I liked. The yeah. rest of mine are quotes too. So I have, I have a lot of quotes as well. But when Monk got the gift from the murderer lady, and he was like, "Oh my gosh!" He goes, "Ellis, this I love," <laughs> which was the the, uh, the the tiny little broom with the dust pan. Yeah, that was really sweet. So funny. How are you? Um, I like, oh, okay, this is also, Randy was very good in this episode. Mm -hmm. When Randy is in the office and he sees the bottle of wine and Mm -hmm. he knows the captain doesn't like port. And so he tries to take the bottle when he picks it up Mm -hmm. and he's like, oh, he's like, oh, you know, I know you don't like port. Not a lot of people like port. It's an acquired taste. I mean, I like port. (laughs) And he's like, I think Karen likes port. I'll just take it home to her. And Randy's just holding onto the bottle. And staring. <laughs> I don't know. I like that part. He's like, all right then. So, yeah. yeah. Um, when the candles, this isn't a quote. When the candles were burning on their hands, whenever they were caroling. Yeah, caroling. <laughs> and when they're singing. Okay, I have that too. Monk and Natalie singing. Because uh, they're singing Silent Night, yeah. right? And so it's not bad. And then when they zoom in on Monk's face real close, and mm-hmm. he's like, sleep in heavenly peace. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> and then and the lady and the daughter just like looking at them like, um, yeah, that was really nice. But there's usually like a group, isn't there? Yeah. And they're like, oh, no, our group split. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're like... Maybe because, like, religious no. things or... Creative differences. They weren't comfortable with religious material. And then Monk and her are talking over each other. <laughs> they wanted to do a whole Vegas thing. <laughs> Monk's like, they wanted to do a whole Vegas thing. I don't know. I like, I like that. That point. is hilarious. Um, on, a, on a little more side note, when the little girl named Trudy is on <gasps> Monk slash Santa's lap... And she's like, she just starts crying and she just like holds him. It's so cute. She's like, my name's Trudy. And Monk just bows his head, (laughs) holds his face, and starts. What does he say? Uh, My wife's name was Trudy. Mm -hmm. She was killed by a car bomb. (laughs) The 
car exploded. It just exploded. I just okay. You're done. You're done. <laughs> she like oh, holding no, you. No, the little girl. She she um, caresses uh-huh. his fake beard, and uh-huh. she's like, <laughs> that was that was my ca- a caressing beard effect there. <laughs> Just so you can, you know, experience the beard effect. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I hope you can't hear my muffin the itch over here. It just... It actually is really good, so... Yeah. Um, I have another quote. Okay. When Monk is talking about the first aid kit that he got gave Julie for Christmas... He, uh, he says, that's the hot gift this year. Yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> A first aid kit. 100 foot of gauze, gauze. and five different ointments. And that, uh, and she, he starts to say something else. Mm-hmm. And that, uh, that's that tourniquet. And then Natalie's like, all right, that's enough of that. We'll talk about that <laughs> later. And then they give him a goldfish. And, yes. And he's like, oh my gosh, what is, what is this? This is a living thing. This is a, li- this is a living thing. And they're like, yeah, it's a friend. So you can keep it. You're going to have a like, friend. It's going to die. Like, so, but this is going to die. Well, yeah, I mean, at some point. Okay, so he is going to die then. <laughs> <laughs> so you gave me a dead friend <laughs> so, that I have to take care of? I don't I don't understand. And they're like, okay, that, that was totally lost on. I was totally lost on Monk. Monk. You? Um, I actually only have one more thing, so do you okay. have any more? Um, I have a lot more quotes. Okay. Well, I can think of, like, every time you say something, I just feed off of that, because I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But I only wrote a, I only wrote a couple of things, but I loved all of it, so it's hard. Okay. When every single scene you want to write down, you kind of cut yourself off, you know? Yeah. Um, when Julie and Monk are decorating the Christmas tree, <laughs> and his is, like, perfect. And she, hers is, like, completely full she says how's your side looking <laughs> and, he, and he has like two things <laughs> two pieces little. of tinsels yes <laughs> that's so good <laughs> Monk's the worst and, and uh, in that same scene we see um this is my last thing that's mm-hmm. uh, we see monk actually excited to go to the party because mm-hmm. he got captain saltemeyer as a secret santa and he's he's excited to give him his mm-hmm. gift and he's like, I'm looking forward to this party. It's not going to be terrible. I feel like it's not going to be terrible. Mm-hmm. And Natalie's like, that's the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cute. But I, I like seeing excited monk. Um, My other quote. My, I think this is my last okay. quote. Yeah, it is. Randy is like, yeah, my grandma. Because Natalie asks where Randy got the sweater. Oh. His sweater. He goes, oh, yeah, my grandma uh, made it for me. And she's like, oh, that's nice. And then she like, she's like, okay, wait, give me one second. And she, like, dances on over to another guy, brings the same guy over there. And she's like, look, Randy, you guys are, you know. And and he's like, where did she's like, where'd you find that? And he goes, um, Walmart, 15 bucks. <laughs> and then she kisses him on the cheek, and she's like, it's a thought that counts. <laughs> I'm like, all right. No, and then Randy said, well, what if she saw it? And oh. she just remade it. Oh, for yeah. Me. Cool. In true Randy fashion, yeah. comes up with some cockamamie scheme that <laughs> does, doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah. So that was your last one, right? That was my last one. Okay, so that actually ties into my, what I didn't like. Oh, yeah. Which is, I didn't like that Natalie said that about his sweater. I Aww. have that as Natalie was mean about the sweater. Yeah. Cause I don't know. Every time I watch it, every like I, cause I always know it's coming. But yeah. I'm like, why does she say that? Like, why does she have to do that to him? Like his aunt. Like, okay. So I guess I'm putting myself in like her shoes. If it was me, I'd probably be just super nervous that those two guys would run into each other at some night in the party or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, sometime in the party, and I might even like go up to the other guy and be like. Hey, um, this is super random, but like Randy's, Randy told me that his, he said his aunt made him that sweater, but obviously she bought it from Walmart. So like, I don't know. I feel awkward. And then like, let him like either say like, oh yeah, I'll avoid him or, oh, I'll take my sweater off or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Again, that's so nitpicky. But when I saw it, I just realized that every single time that 
scene starts to come up, I feel like sad for Randy already. And I'm like, why does Natalie have to do that? I don't know. I guess I see where you're going from. But I just think it shows off how like Natalie can recognize things too. <laughs> you know? It shows ra- Natalie's like rattly. Uh oh. It shows Natalie's like rattly. We got another rattly pairing. <laughs> Both of them. No, uh, just Natalie, like, how she's intellectual. Yeah. How can, how she is at least smarter than Randy. <laughs> That's basically what <laughs> I'm saying. Exactly. So why does Natalie have to prove she's smarter than Randy? <laughs> Everyone is smarter than Randy. Like, what the heck? Um, I have nothing for dislikes. Okay. Absolutely So nothing. then I did not like, okay, I say I didn't like it. It's just another one of those things where before I start to watch it, I'm like, is that really a pattern in the wall? The the bullet, the bullet hole that was supposed oh, to be in the yeah. shape of an M? I'm always like, oh no, that's that's not supposed to be a thing. Like, wait, is that supposed to be a thing? And then Monk is kind of drawing it out. Yeah. And I'm like, is that relevant? And then when it turns out to be relevant, I'm like, how is that relevant? Because yeah. Sotomayor even says, Monk, this man is the best detective in the free yeah. world and he didn't know it was supposed to be an M. So mm-hmm. if you guys don't remember what I'm talking about, the one of the criminals that they think that might be responsible for poisoning Stottlemyre, which, you know, it's not Stottlemyre, but they go to this one guy who's like the main suspect. And apparently a couple of years ago or something, the guy... Uh, four months ago. Okay, sorry. So f- good. For, so four months ago... He encounters on a Tuesday night. <laughs> on a Tuesday. Oh, okay. Noah, just recite. Just go ahead, because I'm stumbling anyway. Um, so he finds Captain Sotomayor outside of a bar, and then he shoots the wall behind him. And they're like, "How did he miss? He's like some special ops guy or something." Yeah. And he's like, "Yeah, it was a pattern. It was an M. That was the name of my brother, Michael, or something like that." Uh-huh. I don't get that. Like, I do not understand who... Because, uh, again, even Sotomayor says, why don't you just use spray paint like a normal criminal? Yeah, just tag it. <laughs> like, I don't get that. Um, It was two in the morning. It was two in the morning. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did actually think that because that's when last call is. So that's usually like when bars are shut down. Yeah. So I was like, I bet it was 2 a.m. Or I'm just ran- <laughs> adding that random fact that's not true whatsoever. <laughs> Why do I remember that it was four months ago on a Tuesday night at 2 a.m. in the morning? <laughs> I actually don't know, but I've seen this episode multiple times. And you didn't remember the Randy Disher project. <laughs> oh, now I do. <laughs> now you will never forget. <laughs> and how he came up with the name, because that's important. <laughs> very, okay. very smart. Okay, so my last thing that I did not like was, again... I'm nitpicking. I didn't... I thought the nun was kind of annoying. Uh, when... Do you remember the nun? Yeah. Okay. So when he goes up to the door and she's like, Captain, he thinks that you're going to hurt him. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, lady, he's a fugitive. And you know he's a fugitive. You know he shot at a cop. Like, you think that they're just going to kill him if he just walks up out here with a nun with his hands in the air? Like, come on. Just give him up. I don't know. <laughs> I'm nitpicking. Know. I'm now I am criticizing a nun, so you can tell I'm nitpicking here. I don't know, nuns I'm pulling at strings. Nuns gonna nun, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a hashtag. Hashtag, hashtag nuns, nuns gonna, gonna nun. nun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. You know, I hate it when them nuns just be protecting them fugitives, right? Oh my gosh. Hashtag relatable. Hashtag nuns gonna nun. <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm not dissing nuns, anyone. This is a, a threat to the Catholic Church. I'm sorry. I'm Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. How much of this are we going to have to cut? For- <laughs> None. None of it. None. One pun, take. Pun intended. <laughs> really, Candace? I had to go there. I had to do it. You just set me up. <laughs> you are... The worst. Really? <laughs> that is that is a new low. <laughs> I can't. That is a very Okay, new so low. um Okay, so then I have a he's the guy. Do you have a he's the guy? Mm, nope. Okay. I have one. 
Okay, so the I know I know that a lot of you are gonna recognize the killer, Alice Westgren. What, what is it? Westgren? Westergren. That's such a weird name. Why would you choose that? I don't it's so hard to say. It's like does not roll off the tongue. They have such weird names in the show. Hmm. Alice. Alice. Westergren. Westergren. Yeah. Westergren. Yeah. Not Wintergreen. That's what I yeah. was thinking. But anyway. So she's played by Rachel Harris. Okay, so I could not figure out for the life of me where she was from, which is so annoying because she's some, from something that she was on like a really long time that I watched for a really long time, like years. So it was, I was kind of bummed mm-hmm. that I had to look it up. But she was from Suits. And I watched that. It was on for nine seasons. Never seen it. And, okay, so this is one thing that I like to do, I guess, is whenever I see somebody on a show, I always ask myself, like, what network was that show on? So Monk was on USA Network, right? And also Suits was, too. Yes. So whenever somebody's, like, on a show like that, I'm like, oh, same network. I don't know why. I just say that. Uh Uh-huh. So... I, that's super random to say, but I do. Mm-hmm. I, I like when they're like, I'm like, oh, they must have found them from Monk, or you know what I mean? The, like I do, uh, I kind of connect things like that. But anyway, so she plays the character. Her her character's name is Sheila Zaz, mm-hmm. which I love that name. And she dates uh, definitely so, better than Angela Woodgreen. What's her name? <laughs> Angela Woodstern. Woodgreen. It's. Alice Westergren. <laughs> <laughs> I like Angela Woodgreen better. So do I. It's much more clever. <laughs> um, so anyways, that's who she played on Suits. And then I was like, I know she's from other stuff, though, because I know she's super famous because I recognized okay. her when I saw her on Suits. So I looked up all the shows that she was on that I had ever seen. And I found Frasier, Modern Family, The Office, According to Jim, New Girl, and Cougar Town. Those are all, like, super yeah. famous. Super. Yeah. So, so basically, Rachel Wait, Harris she's a new girl? is... Yeah. But she, they always just play, like... She was, like, credited in, like, one episode. So none yeah. of these... She was, like, showed up more than once, you know? So I'm sure you probably... Somebody knows her from some of these things. And... That was all I have for He's the Guy. Oh, really? So, Toby, if you are ready for the next transition, take it away. Plot holes. All right, what do you have? Okay. Uh, do, you, do you have anything? Or Yeah. Okay. All right. So, I'll go. I only have one, and it just made me mad. It was the very end. Really okay. great episode. Really awesome. <laughs> I love the episode. But they think. They can just get away with throwing cotton on Tony Shaloub and whoever plays Natalie <laughs> on half of the yard. Not even, not even the full thing. Like they could have like thrown cotton on the full. No, half of the yard going like fifty billion miles per. It's never snowed in San, in, in San Francisco apparently in nine years. And now it's coming down. That makes no sense. It was a miracle gift from Trudy, Noah. Gosh, have an imagination. Trudy's in heaven. Maybe she just missed a spot. Trudy's just going to be like, like over just Monk's one side of the yard. My bad. (laughs) She's going to be one side of the yard. Well, she can't draw suspicion if it's only his yard. She can't do two. Okay. So then she got everywhere else but his yard. Okay. I will say that I've watched this episode because it's a Christmas episode. So I've seen it more than like I've seen other episodes. Yeah. So sometimes I just watch it at Christmas. Okay. You know, just random Christmas episodes. Yeah. I've, I've seen it a few times and I did not notice the snow until the time right before we watched it together. Okay. Which was... Christmas. It looks terrible. And John pointed it out. Terrible. So, yeah. It's gigantic cotton balls that they threw at Tony Shalhoub and whoever plays Natalie. Trailer Howard. Trailer Howard and Tony Shalhoub. And Julie. And Julie for like three seconds. Because Julie came out and no, I'm again. Right. But like, it's not even that, ex- like I've seen good snow. In movies. It might have been CGI or something. Okay, but also, again, I will say, again, that somebody I was watching it with noticed the snow, but also there are other 
effects on Monk that are way, way worse than this. Like what? So they're in the past, so you'd have to watch them. Like CGI? But like uh, explosions. They mm. have explosions that are pretty bad, so. Oh. Yeah, which you would probably not like that, but. Okay. I like so are you done with your snow patrol? Mm. Snow patrol man? Let yes, you're done. Let me, you're, okay, yeah. you're done with snow patrol. Okay, so okay. my first plot hole would be they did it. They're in a police station. The guy just died in the middle of the police station. Okay. They get all the evidence. They get the crime investigators. And you see Stottlemyre, who he's, when he's distraught over the bottle, he's like holding yes. it in his hand. He's like, this bottle was meant for me, blah, blah, blah. He's holding this wine bottle in this evidence bag. Yes. It's sticking out of the evidence bag. Yeah. Like, they don't. In this police station, they don't have evidence oh. bags that are big enough to fit a wine bottle? I took a mental note of that. Mm-hmm. I thought that was very weird. Like, he was almost like, he might have even, like, touched it. Yeah. And I was like, what, like, fingerprints or anything that are on that bottle? It's just, the neck is just sticking out. I thought that was weird. Which we know the guy used gloves. Or the or the girl. She was a girl. Well, But we know the girl used gloves, but still... I guess even if she didn't use gloves, they'd be like, oh, well, of course her prints are on it because she just touched it in his office. Mm, Candace. Got him. But still, you can't put things in evidence bags that are too small and then proceed to touch them. Mm. Um, so with this poison wine bottle, I feel like Alice... She was kind of going out on a limb here. I know she... So she's the one that sets it all up, right? She yeah. sets up the secret Santa. She yeah. makes sure she gets the captain or whoever. Yeah. Uh, she makes sure that it's port, that Stoudemire hates port, that Terry loves port. She sets all this up, right? Why would she let herself get monk? No, like you wait, just uncovered a plot hole, a major a plot minute. hole. Why would plot she be like, land. oh, I can just give... Stoudemire has this dude, Right? Makes sense. I don't need to do anything else. Oh, well, let me just give my mixed up envelope to the best detective in the free <laughs> world. Oh my gosh. My mind is blown right now. That is a huge plot. Okay. You're already going out on a limb, killing a detective yes. in an office, in a room full, full of detectives. detectives. Yeah. You are going to set yourself up for the best detective for you to exchange <laughs> fingerprints and <laughs> like all kinds of evidence with each other i that i like that plot hole a lot okay what was yours before i discovered plot hole cut you off. yeah okay so she set all this up yeah. right but it was still what if stottlemyre said no she suggested oh you should give him port he likes port what if Stottlemyre said, no, I don't want to do that. I want to take it home to my wife. Her plan is ruined. And then she would have just been responsible for Karen Stottlemyre dying. Or Randy, if he gave it to Randy. Yeah. But Or he gives it to Terry. Terry might have drank it. But what if he shared it with people? What if he regifted it to someone? So I feel like this plan, like, yeah, she set it up really perfectly. But she also could have killed one or more people that were not Terry in the process of doing this. And that's this. not what she wanted to do. Yeah. You know, and not not that you felt for her at the end, like, oh, she just did it because, I mean, she was kind of just a crazy, jilted ex-lover, so you yeah. don't feel that bad for her. But if she had accidentally killed someone else, you'd be like, oh, that sucks. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's a, pl- I don't know if it's necessarily a plot hole, just she was risking it for the biscuit on that one. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I mean, because I feel like if Stottlemyre... Would have, like, let it gone to Randy. She would have... I feel like she wouldn't have just been like, okay, well, Randy has it. Can't do anything else. I think she would have been, like, tracking the bottle all day and been, like, looking at it. I, and, yeah, like, I would have. Yeah. Like, if, if the captain had said, no, I don't want to give it to him, I would have taken that bottle and, like, dropped it on the ground. Like, oh, my gosh. Oh, what an accident. Yeah. Oops. Clean it up. Yeah. Maybe she had a backup plan. Maybe she did. Like, maybe she had a backup plan for what if he doesn't give it to him? But I everything gotta, I got to steal this bottle back. So, I don't know. So, yeah, it's probably not a plot hole. It's probably just more of a, she was risking it big time, I think. But, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So, so, my next one would be, okay, so follow this timeline with me, because I was trying to follow it while I was watching it. So, 
when do you think that this party took place? In the daytime or the nighttime? Night. Okay, right. It was at the nighttime, right? So he dies. Yeah. And then in the morning, or I say, I say that in the morning, we presume it's the morning because Stottlemyre says, okay, we're going to pick teams. Let's split up and we'll meet back here at noon. Whoa. Right? He says that. I know he says that. So does that make sense? So yeah. he, there's it's the nighttime party. He dies. They collect evidence. They put him in the bag. But yeah. then he says, let's split up. Let's reconvene here at noon. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So they nobody went to sleep. They stayed up all through the night. And then they're going to work and then meet at noon. I was like, what? And then the next scene that we see right after that, because remember Stottlemyre and uh, Monk, they go to that bar and they see the pattern of the M on the wall. Yeah. That's like kind of, it looks kind of morning-ish. Mm -hmm. right and then the very next scene we see monk and natalie in the car at nighttime at the stakeout so i haven't slept in like two days yeah also you could be like oh but they slept in between scenes and they came back but then she's like oh i gotta get home to julie yeah yeah Yeah. so that makes no sense right got him that's a good one that's a good one yes i got him okay so this is my last one i probably won't get him but (laughs) <laughs> do, do kids kiss Santa? Whoa. That little girl was like, I love you, Santa. Mm. That was, yeah. <laughs> and then the Monk's like, what is she doing? Uh-huh. Uh, she wants to give you a kiss. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so... You're definitely not. I'd even up if I was like paid to be Santa and everything, I'd, I'd still go, whoa. Wait, wait, what do you want from me? Like, do you want my cheek? Because this is getting weird, so... For real. Yeah, kids don't want Santa. I don't think they want Santa to give a kiss. That's, that's yeah. nasty. Yeah, the mom, the, if I was the mom, I'd be like, oh no, honey, Santa doesn't do that. Ancient, uh, creepy, <laughs> like, because the kid is like, oh yeah, this guy's been... <laughs> alive forever oh, just give him a kiss you know you know <laughs> oh my gosh it's and, like the last thing I'd want to do and Monk is like the most sad grumpy Santa ever yeah. I'd be like no honey he's kind of weird just not kiss this man I don't know That's yeah weird. definitely that's a good uh, one Um, that is my last plot hole but I did want to ask a question Um, so I just I was just thinking about it what would you get Monk for Secret Santa? Gloves. Hold the applause, everyone. Hold the applause. Okay. Maybe so gloves. what kind of gloves? Because for those who do not know, Noah actually created our artwork for the podcast. So you see Monk is eating out of a bag of cheesy chips. Cheesy boys. Cheesy boys. <laughs> and... He's wearing a rubber glove so that he does not latex. get a latex glove so that he does not get cheesy dust on his fingers. Cheesy boy dust. <laughs> <laughs> so are those the type of gloves that you would give him? No. I think latex gloves are annoying and um, cheap and like they they like give rashes to some people. Some people are they, like allergic yeah, to they, yeah, latex. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So I'd give him latex free gloves think about the man give him some nice wrapping paper boom (laughs) oh my goodness okay (laughs) how crazy was monk this episode you go first i will go first let me find my notes Okay, so do we want to do our crazy moments first? Because I have got a plethora of crazy oh, moments. Oh, really? Did you write anything down? Candace. Or did you forget? You totally forgot, didn't you? Miss Sloan. No. <laughs> I literally have one. Oh my god! I thought Monk was amazing in this episode. Now that I'm realizing it, the Santa <laughs> thing is a little weird. Are you reading my but notes? I'd or? be gro- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I'd be grossed out as Santa too. That's just me. All right, you, you can read them off. I don't want to spoil. Anyway. Okay. 
Do you want to share notes? Do you want to do you want to piggyback off my notes, or do you just want me to read yeah, my ten? Sure. And, okay, because I'll be talking forever. Really? Okay, so Aww. let's go. Okay, so we talked about this. Monk's tree is barely decorated on his side. He has a couple pieces of tinsel. Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play devil's advocate, which is like, and I am. I'm, I'm gonna play the other side. I'm always gonna poke at your little moments. Okay. Monk's just trying to decorate his little tree. Careless. Why you gotta hate on the monk tree? Well, okay. But to be fair, Julie's got the other side, and she's like a child. She's got it all decorated, and she's like, how's your side going, Mr. Monk? And then it's like, oh, really, bro? Like, you know he's going to leave the tree like that. He's not going to want you to mess it up. That's pretty crazy. I don't know. I, I mean, know. I'm just saying. He has OCD. He, that, that's just being rude to his disabilities, Candace. That's just, that's just rude. I'm going to say that for all your moments. <laughs> That's why I excuse every time. Okay. So, which is kind of ironic because I'm always the one that has, I give him a bunch of stuff and then I score him really low and then you barely have anything and you score him really high. Uh-huh. And so I like how you're nitpicking all of my stuff. Okay. But just wow. going to throw that out there. Um, so the next thing would be he tells Stottlemyre what his gift is when he hands it to him, when it's wrapped. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I didn't... I didn't get that. I thought that was, I thought that no, was but they... I mean, Stottle, I guess that's how they did their Secret Santa. Because I guess it wouldn't make sense. No, they... Because they were literally going around giving their gifts. No, but he it's wrapped. And he hands it to him. So he doesn't and have he, to open it he, right then and there. Well, no... Oh my gosh. No one's going to literally poke at everything I say. All right, next. Ha ha ha. So then he explains how... When he opens the... Oh wait, the, no. It, yours makes sense. Because... He opened what's her faces. Monk opened yeah, Allison McCarthy's. <laughs> right, right. I'm just gonna change her name every time we mention yeah. her. Okay, so then he he tells him because he hands him the gift and says it's an air purifier, and he's like, oh thanks, Monk. Okay, yeah, no, and I thought that was weird too. And then he's like, okay, so okay. some so sometimes no, uh, that's that's too little for me to change my decise. Okay, yeah. so then he says, <laughs> you know, some houses they get us. Stench. Not your house, though. Your house is clean. Uh, and yes. then Meyer's like, do you know what eBay is? No. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That's a, little, that's a little early for eBay, I think. I don't know. How long has eBay been around? eBay's been around a while. Oh, never mind. I don't know yeah. what I'm talking about. He does not, actually. Um, <laughs> the next thing is that he loves his little tiny broom. And not that that is... Aww. Not that that's crazy in a sense, but, like, it, would you be excited if I got you a tiny broom and a dustpan? No. Candace. No, you wouldn't. Don't, Noah, do not argue but with me. I'm the guy who about... got him gloves. Candace, you can't just say that. Okay. He's gonna love his tiny broom. Now tell me one other person in your life that you would get those same presents for. The same gloves. I don't have to explain Nobody. myself to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the next one is um when they're in the when they're in the car, him and Natalie are doing the little um not a sting. What am I trying to say? When you're waiting for somebody outside. Stick out. Stakeout, thank you. (laughs) Whenever they're doing the stakeout and she wants to play 20 questions and she's like, it's easy. You just think of anybody living or dead. Trudy. (laughs) And he's like, okay. Is it Trudy? (laughs) Yes, thank you. That was fun. (laughs) (laughs) That was a crazy moment. Again, of course he's going to say Trudy, but like you're not supposed to pick the most obvious thing ever. I guess. And then, I and then I have the candle dripping when he's doing okay, the yeah. caroling, which you had that. Mm-hmm. Um, so when he comes out as Santa Claus, he comes out and he has this big reveal moment. He touches the the ornament. He looks his hand looks like the Grinch, and he mm-hmm. touches the ornament. And then there's stockings, and he flips the stocking over. And then when he goes to sit in his chair, Natalie's like. Yeah, this is a, you know, Santa's new rule is mm-hmm. everyone has to use these magical wipes <laughs> and we wipe our hands. Wiping is fun. 
And then, and then she, he won't let them sit on his lap. And she's like, Mr. Monk, that's your Santa. The kids have to sit on your lap. And so, yeah, that was also crazy. Again, not uh, necessarily crazy for Monk that he doesn't want kids sitting on his lap, but you can't be Santa and not have kids sit on your lap. I don't know. Uh, don't wait, baby. Oh, change my decise, Candace. Okay, okay. And then he gives Julie a first aid kit to a child for her Christmas. No, he's just being thoughtful. He just wanted her to have 100 foot gauze, which is crazy. Mm, So. No, it's thoughtful. um, He hates the fish that Julie gets him. He calls him a a dying friend. Oh. Well, you got me a dying friend. Okay. If we're being honest, it's a dying friend. It, okay, I, that is, okay, I think that's the only thing, no, this other, this last one's not really that crazy either, I just thought, he was carrying it around a lot, he won't open the present he got from Trudy. That's sweet. Yeah, it is sweet. That is sweet. Okay, it's sweet, fine. How dare Nix it. you? Nix it, that's I wonder what's one. under there. Do they ever say that? What's under where? You know, under the present? Under where? Do they? What? I hate you, you're literally in, like... A nine-year-old child in the fourth grade, Candace. <laughs> what, oh, what was our hashtag? Oh. Nuns. Nuns gonna nun. <laughs> nuns gonna nun. What is the, you came up with that one? I don't. What does that have to do with the context? You gotta use nuns gonna nun in the right context, Candace. I was just saying how I was acting like a nine-year-old <laughs> when I said when you said nun, and then I said pun intended. Oh. 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 Anyway. And, okay. <laughs> That's it. Okay. That's so want. out of 10 what? Don't look at my paper. Out of 10 what? Out of 10, two small letters and two big envelopes. That's a mouthful. <laughs> it is. I put 10 Randy Walmart sweaters. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yours is better. Okay. Yours is always better. No, oh, we've used yours before. Okay, wait a minute. I, I wanna. I I thought I was like. We did your cake shields. <gasps> I remember that because oh. that was a good one. Spittle shields. Spittle shields. You no, have. I wanna change mine. Your time will come. Your time will come. I'm yeah. gonna change mine yeah, what to Trudy presents. Ten. Okay. Trudy presents. Let's do it. I mean, you're just still better. No, let's do yours. No, like you're it. just still no. better. I'm sorry. No. Candace. No. I like yours. I didn't even like my scene. Oh. I didn't even like the Ra- I didn't even like the Randy Walmart sweater. Let's just use yours. It's fine. No, no, Judy presents. We're doing it. Okay, no, we're out, of 10 okay out of ten, Judy Walmart presents. sweaters. This podcast, we are like Bicker Town over here. Just, <laughs> this is like the fighting podcast today. I had For absolutely real. nothing clever to say there. This is the. Uh... <laughs> I was I was trying to rhyme something with monk and drunk and junk and everything and I couldn't think of anything. So. <clears throat> Man, we're fighting today. We are this a is the, this is the, the fighting, fighting podcast. podcast. <laughs> I used all my nine year old jokes already. I can't think yeah. of anything. Okay, so out of ten Trudy presents, how many Trudy presents? How how crazy? Okay, is that? I'd rate it out of ten. Walmart sweaters. Three out of ten Walmart sweaters. You're joking. Nope. That's my answer. Three. Three. Yes. Candace. Refute that. Boy. You're the worst. <laughs> what? I wrote one. <laughs> you wrote like like 14. And we had the same one. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Okay, this okay. this blueberry muffin is staring me in the face, so I'm gonna have to open it. So, hang on, pause. I've eaten both of mine. Not, not finished, but I've eaten both of mine and my bowl of rice and my soda. It's so good. <laughs> you just. We gotta. It's well, so I mean, bad. we we have to throw the junk in the monk podcast, okay? And whoa, I don't think we do. And we gotta give people it's some ASMR too. Our podcast. No, no, okay, no, no, Noah, that's enough. <laughs> Here's no. my cream soda can. All right, that was ASMR monk. Okay. Okay. All right, so are you ready for? Okay, so now we have to explain to everyone what ASMR is. No. 
Look it up. It's, it's all a, over YouTube. It's actually it's like the hottest thing. Super like the the thing is like the name. If you look up ASMR, what does ASMR stand oh, for? Oh yeah, it's like auto something something. Autonomic uh, something mm-hmm, yeah. major respiratory failure. What? Okay, go. <laughs> Rate this episode. All right, Kenneth, what would you rate this episode? Um, so let's see. I am, uh, you know, gonna do my monkified scale. Oh yeah. So I always forget. I always forget. <laughs> I always come in to get them in the end. You're the worst. Okay, so all episodes of Monk are amazing. Yeah. None of them deserve less than a ten. Okay. okay. So I'm going to rate this episode. A 10.85. What about you? 10 point nothing because your scale is dumb. I'm changing mine to a 4. This episode is now a 4 because of your dumb scale. And I'm quitting the podcast, everyone. (laughs) So basically, (laughs) Noah, okay, can I just... Can I just have a tidbit here? Just so that you know what Noah's state of mind should be right now. I was joking. Guess where Noah just you came from. Not need... Guess. Okay. Let's tell the audience. Let's tell, let's tell them where you just came from. Cotillion. Do you know what Cotillion is? It's basically an etiquette class. It's literally the worst, Candace. I'm not saying I Tell like... the people what you learned today. What, or what you didn't learn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I slept through some of it, okay? But... We learned how to dance. We learned how to. It was walk. Western night. We learned door manners. <laughs> it was the worst. Two, how long was that? I literally don't even know. It was how like long it three was. hours. It was always three hours. It was torture because we had to. I had to wait for you to be done with I that. I think I fell asleep so. for like half of that. Yeah. So basically, he should be on his best behavior right now, but I feel like he's oh, like please. been holding it in for three hours, I and have. so now he's releasing his rebelness, and I so everything I say, he's like, dip, 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 dip. <laughs> just true. just so that you know, I guess where his state of mind should be and where it actually is. Do you so like my, my socks and my t shirt? They're matching. It's really like not related to anything right now, but they're matching. So, I rated this episode a 10.8. Oh, way too loud. So I, rated, so, I rated this episode a 10.85. So, Noah, what was your actual rating? I think I'm sick. Uh, 9 out of 10. Really? 9 out of 10. So, that's your highest one. That was higher than um, Mr. It? Monk and Mrs. Monk. I, I think it was. Whoa. I think you gave that one an eight. Let me I check. Say. Okay, I gave the last one a four. What was that one? Episode eight. You probably changed your answers ten times. Oh, that was Little Monk. Oh, yeah. That was a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave that one a four. No, I, I think you changed your answers a couple times. So. What? You're probably that's probably how crazy was Monk. It's probably like, no, it's his episode rating, and then there's scratched out five, and then a four. Um, no <clears> one can read that. So. Okay, so you gave this episode a 9, and I gave it a 10.85. So that's pretty good. This episode was really good, y'all. I thought it was they really good. They went all out. They pulled all the stops. Yeah. And the way that, like, the cart, like, traveled, and it was, like, one, like, the cart with the wine bottle traveled across the, like, office, I thought it was, like, really, like, intense. Suspenseful, yeah. And, like, like I was, like, hooked, because it was, it, was, it was one long shot. Across the whole office, just focusing on the wine bottle. And I was, and then, like, the guy's, like, dropping off his mail to everyone. And then he gets the lady, and he gives him the bottle to the lady. And the lady has to go give it to Stottlemyre, because Stottlemyre's not there yet. But still, it was, like, whew, I, this episode was so good. Yeah. This episode was really Yeah, good. so, because, like, what I said, what I liked about it, again, oh. was the mystery was great. The misdirect was great. The funny scenes were so funny, and there were a lot of really funny yeah, scenes. Yes. And who doesn't love a good Christmas episode? Like, That's true. Christ- Christmas specials are the best. Yeah, and and I want to say that these were specials, like so they. I'm not sure that they actually aired, because I want to say Monk aired like in the summertime. Yeah. Or and then sometimes like in the summertime and then like January or something like that. But but whenever the shows were off, like Monk and Psych. 
They yeah. would do like specials, like a Christmas special in the middle. So you would have a new episode that was Christmas themed to watch during Christmas. Mm. So for, I mean, imagine if that was on the air and that was just like a special in the middle. That would be a really good episode. That would be a really good episode. Right? I, don't, I, I thought that was, I thought it was pretty good for a, a special. Yeah. So I think that's, I think that's how that worked, if I'm not mistaken, but. Yeah. Actually, I think I wanted to take a moment and thank all of our social media people, right? So I've been really? doing some Instagramming. People? What? You're not even going to give them a proper name? What does that mean? Junk monkers. They... I want to thank all of our junk monkers out there on the social media platforms. I, I've been doing a lot of Instagram um, promotion Black. for the show, and I hope that you guys are enjoying our... A little trivia and our uh, ratings and all the stuff where we get to hear your opinions. And I've actually got to talk to a lot of Monk fans in the comments. And it's been really cool. So I've actually, I've seen a cat named after Adrian Monk. Really? Mm Mm-hmm. And I've seen a a, a bird named after Adrian. Uh. His His name's Adrian. And I think the cat's name was Mr. Monk. And then, get this, I oh, talked to a person who gosh. named their son, Adrian. No. After Adrian Monk. Yes, there are, there are some awesome you fans up there. You voted. Right? I just so, read my day. So, I know, right? So Aww. we have to do this podcast for these people. For they love Adrian Monk. Monk. They they love Monk. They love Adrian Monk. They love Tony Shalhoub. All of it. They love Natalie Deeger. They love Sharona Fleming. They love Stottlemyre and Dishart. They love the show, and we love the show. So we just wanted to say thanks, and um, hopefully you guys do follow I us. Wish I was named Adrian. <clears throat> <laughs> just wait. Do you know if Adrian likes the show? Not our show, but the show. Wait, who's Adrian? The son. Oh, I think he might be little. I didn't ask. I, did, I think he's. I, I think feel it makes sense for him to be older, like I, my age. I don't know. Maybe we should check into that. Me and Adrian should become oh. great friends because we're around the same age. Because, you know, Monk was popular when I was born. 2007, everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't know. I just, Yeah, maybe we could. Maybe if that person is listening to our podcast, maybe you can send us a DM and so let us know. Adrian let us know how you... and or Adrian's mother or father. What's up? <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, we've got some devoted fans out there. And so we want to thank you guys. Very. And um, yeah, so keep following us on Instagram. Uh, participate in our stuff. And maybe you'll hear one of your you know, little tidbits like this or uh, opinions or comments heard on the show and we can keep in touch that way. I think that, so, honestly, cool. all of our Instagram followers and everyone who follows us on social media and everyone who's, who's listening right now should just pat themselves on the back and everyone in the live studio audience right now, just give them a big round of applause, right, everyone? <laughs> Yeah. All right. That's what you guys deserve, little Adrian and or big Adrian. That's and, what you and the little des- bird. It was like a finch or something. I don't know if it was a finch. A parakeet. No. Wait, what color is the cat? I don't know. Uh, the cat was very cute. He he has a, a friend who's like a grumpy cat, and then he was like a gray and white kitty. It was really Aww. cute. They were both really cute. You have to show me. So I will. I'll show you in a minute. Okay. Aww. All right. So I think we're done. Well, yeah. I think we did. We did all of our segments. We had all we of just, the points. You know, roll the. I don't want to say roll the outro. Let's roll the outro. Let's do it. Let's roll the outro. Well, now roll the outro. Wait, now roll the outro. Hey guys, thanks for listening to the Junk Monk Podcast. We'd love to hear from you, so please rate and review us wherever you listen to podcasts. Also, follow us at Junk Monk Podcast on Instagram. If you want to know more about Candace, she's at Hardheads and Hardhats on Instagram. And if you want to know more about me, Noel, too bad. Also, you can catch up on Monk with Amazon Prime Video. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast. You'll thank me later.